Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Colosseum. We, yeah, in the last episode we fin we fought against Mara B and his successor, and his successor was an asshole. Um, oh yeah, I should stock up. I used a lot of stuff last time. Oh, hyper potions are expensive. Revives are expensive too. That was all very expensive. Okay, we're gonna leave the town now. Maybe talk to Kale again. <coughs> what did you say? You put the boot to Myra B? That's a surprise. But it doesn't matter if that clown's here or not. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that Pyrite's the town for battling. Get ready for this. Oh, he wants to fight again. Didn't expect that. For the five, he's quite strong. Um. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna need Umbreon to mess with Killia. Swablu can attacks. Novel. Oh, that didn't do much. No! Strength is strong. Okay, that was fine. But still. Oh, fly. Finally it can use fly. <laughs> Good thing I used fly. Dramatic. Lagma now, while Swablu flies up again, just to be safe. Harden just raises the physical defense, right? Flamethrower could be a one-hit, if I'm lucky. No! Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Why is everyone one-hitting Slugma? That's not fair. I don't have any other fire type to use instead. That's... That just sucks.
Kurs lag mal. Always the same. Oh, it doesn't have... Thanks for telling me that. It's already dark type. I thought... Just the last form has dark type. Uh. Oh. Why are they all so annoying? It's just not fair. Why is he allowed to use Dick as first? Anyways. Why is he attacking first? Now he doesn't attack first. Now that I could use it. Finally. This took way too long. Slugma died during this cup fight, so mm. I've learned how tough you are battling. It's a full body experience. Yeah, I'm I gotta heal up again. I don't want to walk until the end, so I'm just gonna pay the hundreds. Okay. Oh, look at that. She's outside. <coughs> ah, I might be imagining it, but the town's air feels somewhat less sturdy. But not all is well. I can feel the presence of black auras coming from shadow Pokemon. Wow, Fatine. Nothing escapes your notice. There is but nothing that eludes the notice of my fortune telling. The key to freeing Pokémon from that black aura, it is in the north. Up north, that's where my grandpa lives too. Oh no, I forgot. 
I was on my way to visit Grandpa. He lives in a gate village. That's north of here. That being north, maybe no mere coincidence. Your answer may be there. Oh, my grandpa was a famous trainer uh, when he was young. Maybe my grandpa would know something. Let's go see him, Moon. Okay, so we go up north now. Oh, that's far to the north. A gate village. A lush green town that is peacefully populated by old former ace trainers. Oh, a lot of ace trainers in there. Well, that sounds dangerous for, for me. This looks like a village from a Zelda game. This could be... This could be part of a Zelda game, this place. Oh, here we are. This is where my grandpa and grandma live. The air tastes a lot different here. It's been so long. Okay, let's get going. I bet they are worried about me not getting here. Of course. I'm gonna take a look around as well. Ah, here's a poker center. Here's a cave. Back there, oh, what is this? This looks like a secret pathway. Oh! <coughs> Quick law. Oh! Whoops. We're just gonna give it to Umbreon for now. What a relaxing music here. Everything seems so peaceful. What are you guarding here? This is the entrance to the Relic Forest. They say that Celebi visits this forest. I'm sorry, but no one except the villagers are allowed through. If you are sightseeing, please do it elsewhere. Okay, okay, and this is a dead end. Why, if it isn't Olivia, it's been too long. Is that young man your boyfriend? I know why you are back. You came to introduce your boyfriend to Egan, didn't you? Well, Olivia, I should introduce my boyfriend to you. You see, my boyfriend is this mighty Anna here. Okay. <coughs> Olivia didn't even say anything. Is there a secret behind the waterfall? No. Oh, <coughs> uh, leave your Pokemon with the daycare lady in the village. Most Pokemon will come back in a much happier state of mind. You should give her a try. Leave a Pokemon with her and see how it likes her. Nothing else here. <coughs> Let's check out this house. Oh, daycare lady. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, not from my team. <coughs> yeah, I'll come back later. I would... Name Raider. Uh, no, no, no. I could give them Plusle. I think Plusle would be way happier here than in my PC box. Do you see this? My tailor brings me berries from somewhere every day. Here, I'll share one with you. I've got a person berry. Nice. I guess this big tree house is where her grandparents live, right? She might be the granddaughter of the 
village elder. Stuff like that. <coughs> but I want to check out everything else too. Have I talked to you before? Well, welcome at Agate Village. This village is home to trainers who were once considered experts and of course their Pokemon. I would think that it's too early for you people to settle here. No, don't say that. Oh? What do I see here? Ah! <coughs> Silk Scarf. Two Ultra Balls. Okay, what does the Silk Scarf do? Raises the power of normal type moves. You know what? We're gonna give it to Espeon since it knows two normal type moves. And we give the Metro Brace. Well, I don't know. To Swablu. Why not? <coughs> okay. Found a secret cave. Let's check this house. <gasps> a Tortric! I want you in my team instead of Slugma. But I don't think I can get it. Oh, you're Egan's granddaughter, aren't you? Come to think of it, he's been telling everyone that you are coming for a visit. He seemed awfully pleased. That is nice. Oh, Olivia, you have finally arrived. Oh, and you are with a friend too. I know it's hardly any of my business, but it pays to choose your friends carefully. Did he insult me? Oh, it's Egan's beloved Olivia. <coughs> or was it Olivia's beloved Egan? Now, which are you? What? Something new on the TV. We have received breaking news. Myra B, the brutal crime lord of Pirate Town, has been defeated and driven out of town. Reports claim that two young people were behind Myra B's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are known. <coughs> Thanks to their heroic work, Pirate Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Well, that's nice. And we don't even get mentioned. Don't even tell, say our names. Everyone there knows our name, like you king or something. What is this for? Bad word for news. They don't even research. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. When I looked into your eyes, excitement boiled over in my blood. What do you say, kiddo? How about we have a heated battle, you and I? Okay. Very well. I will give you a close look at the skills I have found over all these years. He might be terribly strong, maybe. That would be... That would be funny. Level 100. Yeah, okay. It's not too bad. <coughs> no, not stun spore. Uh, 
Not again! Oh my god. I hate C C dot. He's the worst. Now. <clears throat> Confused, that's good. Growth, I don't care. Stuntspot was very annoying. Ah, that was a good workout. Phew, my, you are tough. I haven't been this excited in years. However, the Pokemon you use appear to be troubled somehow. They are frighteningly strong, frighteningly strong, but they are somehow cold. Am I imagining that they are keeping their hearts closed tight? You are absolutely right. This might be the shop. What are you doing here? Have you ever battled at the Fennec Coliseum? No, just at the uh, Pyrite Coliseum. Not, so, not long ago. I won a challenge and they gave me a TM. Why don't you enter too? Okay. Sure. This place is a retirement village for senior citizens, but for some reason we see a lot of visiting young trainers. There seems to be a rumor that this village has a secret but sure way to be of becoming close to their Pokemon. Oh, they are selling HP up and protein and stuff like that, okay. No, I just need... I'm gonna take another Hyper Potion. Okay, when I go up here, I just come back to the... To this. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I knew them. there had to be a way to get down here. One XP share! Well, that's nice. We're gonna give it to Umbreon for now. Oh no, right. I'm gonna give it to Bayleaf, even though. No, Bayleaf also has something. We'll give it to Slugma, even though it doesn't do much for now. Since it doesn't get any experience, as long as it's a shadow Pokemon. But so we just, just so we have it already given away. Uh, yeah, I would like to go to the Poker Center first and then we're gonna visit Olivia's grandparents. Another Gen 3 starter. Mm. 
Wait a second, could it be? Olivia, is that you? I thought so. The last time I saw you... <coughs> you were this little tiny thing. Now look at you, growing up to be a real beauty. Oh, please, stop it. But I shouldn't keep you... Egan was worried about you. Don't waste any time, you should go see him. Grandpa Egan! Grandma Bellu! I missed you! Oh, Olivia! Welcome, welcome! We heard that you were coming, but then you didn't arrive. We were worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? I, I had just this terrible time. On the way here, I was abducted by these creepy people. Luckily, I was saved by Moon, who happened to be there by coincidence. Oh, how frightful! Thank you so much for saving our granddaughter. But why would anyone want to harm Olivia? It's probably because I can see these bizarre Pokemon. They are shadow Pokemon, Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well... Help! There's trouble! Egan, it's a serious situation. Some outsiders went into the relic forest. What? Who were they? I, I don't know. They shoved me aside and... That's enough talk. It can wait. I'm off. <coughs> okay. It's getting serious now. Outsiders fouling the relic forest. That mustn't happen. But I worry for my husband even more so. Olivia, dear, please go after him. No one talking about me? Okay, it was down here. Let's go check it out. Of course, it's them again. Hey, what? Here comes another meddler. That old man earlier, he trampled me when I let down my guard, but that won't happen again. You sure about that? We'll see. Silver Peon Dolan. A Sphere and a Carvana. Swablu alone. Swablu alone. That was a good one. <coughs> no problem all.
Why are the, the villagers here so ridiculously strong? Okay, but that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time to a new episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Goodbye.